you thank you all for just inviting me out and giving me the opportunity to speak about twist i really appreciate you and i love that you all are um, doing positive exposure of people in the community um, versus what whatever else you could be doing <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> i appreciate you shedding a positive light in the world sure. so And I would like to welcome you to Action One Media's Action Table. And Action you can One, already tell doing it for by the, the culture of the studio today on the table. It's going to be a very sweet, 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 and delicious episode. So I have with me the one and only innovative, very creative Miss Stephanie Poliert, and she is the creator of what you see before you, La Vela Loca Candles. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. How are you today? I am great. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm excited to let the people see all of these delicious creations, that these decadent right experiences <laughs> right here, you know, and you guys see what they look like, but the thing is, they smell like what they look like. Yes. You know, so I'm excited to jump in right now and just kind of find out how did you even get the idea to do this? Because this is something that I've never seen before in my entire life. Right. Well, actually, the story starts a long time ago. My mom actually is the designer of the candles and the original scents. Mm -hmm. And I say original because she will mix two and three different scents together to form the lemonade. Oh. Yeah. So she is the artist and the original creator. Go ahead, mama. Yes. <laughs> That's why we all need mamas in our lives because they pass on some amazing, amazing skills yes. and, and skill sets, right? Yes. yes. So, yes. so your mom is the one who created it. And so yes. you kind of took it and Action one. just started doing it for doing the your culture. Thing with it. Did you come up with you? No, we still work together. Oh, you yes. do? Yes. Hey, mama. <laughs> yes, we definitely work together. Um, this is a partnership mm -hmm. company. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Teamworks make the dream work. I can tell you that for sure. So looking at the table, we have so many different types of beautiful, smell good <laughs> candles. So one thing in particular that I like is this one. Okay. This is, what is it called again? That is a chocolate sundae. Uh -huh. We also make it in strawberry. That candle is chocolate vanilla it has the scoop of vanilla ice cream which is under the whipped cream oh and it's garnished with a cherry on top and it's scented chocolate when you light it you will get three different scents from the candle oh wow you will first start to smell the cherry then you'll smell the whipped cream and then you'll get into smelling the chocolate fudge that's amazing so it's, it's definitely layered that's with with scent so i noticed i i haven't you know i have a la villa loca candle you know <laughs> myself but it's so beautiful no i oh have not God. burned it and i know that's a problem because candles are made to be burned yeah, they definitely are yes but it can, I haven't can certainly burn all of the candles i know they look Mm -hmm. You know, like you wouldn't want to burn it and mess it up. But the candles are very affordable. Mm -hmm. um, they do have a long burn time. Like the chocolate sundae, this candle will burn for 120 hours. Oh, wow. So that's a they, good candle. Yeah, they do have a long burn time. And some of the candles you can set on top of a candle warmer, like the blueberry cheesecake that you have. Oh. And any of the candles that are are like in a tin foil or on a glass dish you can actually set them on top of a candle warmer and you'll have it a lot longer because oh, wow. you know it's slower to burn yeah candle warmer now i didn't know that yeah so you just schooled me and everybody yeah. else on that that's amazing yeah. so i love this so what about these could you you wouldn't prefer to do these on a candle burner though no, right because of the thick glass on the bottom action okay. one doing it for the culture See, that's because she gives you a good glass you know if it was a bad glass it wouldn't have that it would have a little thin bottom they you know so definitely <laughs> good glasses and they 
come from Bed Bath and Beyond. They're the real deal. They can withstand heat mm-hmm. of up to an over four hundred degrees. Oh wow! So we pour the candles at a very high temperature to reduce the bubbles. Uh huh. And um. Yeah, you can definitely light it right in the glass. Wow. So you mentioned that the candles are very affordable. Can you tell me a little bit, maybe point out a couple and tell me what the price range would be for the candles? Yes. Um, So the ducks in the tub, that candle will burn about 50 to 60 hours. Mm -hmm. And that candle is priced at $10. Oh. And then you guys spend more on candles. <laughs> then we have the uh, blended whiskey. There we go. The blended whiskey will burn for about 80 hours. Mm-hmm. And this candle is $15. Oh, so they are action one more. doing it for the culture. That's candy, right? I'm a candle right there. I said candy is really yeah. though. <laughs> yeah. And a lot of the drink candles are between 20 and $25. Like the wine candle. Mm-hmm. This one is is our biggest seller. Mm -hmm. It is the Cabernet wine. It will burn for 80 hours. It glows in the dark. Mm -hmm. And yes, and it smells amazing. And it does come with a glass charm. Oh, that's so cute. This candle is priced at $20. We also do a Chardonnay that glows in the dark as well. Oh, wow. And some of the more elaborate drink candles like the Margarita. Margarita. Which is more elaborate and larger Uh has a longer burn time those are priced at 25 okay well I think they're definitely well worth the money you know because we buy candles all the time yes if you're a candle connoisseur you know so you know it's a good price for what you're actually getting and if you could be in the studio today and smell this pie that I'm holding in my hand you would definitely want to make that purchase. Yes. That How is, much is this pie? Let them know. It's $20. It's worth it. And again, that one will burn for about 40 to 50 hours. And with that, when you light it, so that's the apple pie. Uh-huh. And when you light it, it definitely smells like apple pie because you're smelling cinnamon mm. and you're smelling vanilla. Action one, doing it for the culture. The nutmeg. You're smelling apples. There are scented apple pieces underneath the crust that also make it smell like apple. So we you are smelling different- hunger <laughs> is what you're smelling. Yeah. Okay. And decadence. A lot of different scents into each one of the candles that gives it the unique smell. Just like the strawberry shortcake, Ooh. for example, that one has a lot of different scents going on. It has the strawberry scent. Mm -hmm. It has the whipped cream, cherry. The butt cakes are scented vanilla. So when you put them all together, it actually smells like a strawberry shortcake. I know it does. There is no one (laughs) scent that is strawberry shortcake. We have to put it together. Yeah. That's how it actually smells. Just like like if if a chef were putting together an actual cake, you guys are putting together an actual cake candle, you know. You guys are chefs of candles. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's amazing. So we talked about the candles. We'll just let them look at them because they're so beautiful. You know, don't just look at them, though. When you buy them, make sure you burn them. Not like yes. me. Yes. Burn your candle because you're going to like it. I just wake up and I just smell it, you know, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put you back because you're so cute, but I'm going to burn it. I'm going to burn it because I'm going to get me more. Okay. Another good trick that you could do is place your candle in front of a window in front of the sun oh. and the sun will warm up the candle enough to give off the scent and as you can already smell they're very potent did you just you guys just learn i'm learning so much about <laughs> candles and scents and different ways to make it happen yeah. and i could just imagine that it makes you feel calm you know because it aromatherapy is. is real it really is you know yeah, so guys make sure you get these candles why don't you tell them where they can get them how can they contact you to get these beautiful um they art, can be pieces of art on instagram right from instagram at live action one inspiring da next underscore loca 2018 and all the contact information is there our phone number email address lavella loca at gmail.com and you can place the order right there there we go. So it's not over, guys. It's not over. Don't go anywhere. So, 
how I know you said your mom got you started. Um, you guys are doing this as a partnership together, yeah. which is also a beautiful thing. But where did your mom get this idea from? Where did the whole well, beginning of La Villa Loca's come Loca come candles come play. like? Yeah. Okay. So she was actually at a mall in Ohio mm -hmm. because that's where we're from. Mm -hmm. So she saw someone actually selling what looked similar to the pie candle. Okay. And it it was sort of similar to the pie candle. And my mom really liked the candle. She just loved the way it looked overall. Mm -hmm. And she was very interested in and inquisitive about how the lady made the candle. Well, the lady was very rude to my mom. Oh. Didn't want to give away her trade secret. And my mom has always been creative. Mm -hmm. I mean, she has, from macrame to everything she's always been very creative mm -hmm. so she took that attitude and said you know what i can go i bet you i can go home and make that candle myself and and that's exactly what she did go ahead mama she went home she made the not only did she make the pie candle but i think she made a couple other candles she took them to work mm -hmm. sold out she mm. sold out completely the next day she went back to work someone handed her a list of all types of different candles that they wanted. Mm. She looked at the list and, you know, she was taken back like, but wait, this is my first time making these. And I've this. never, you know, I've never made this before. So she literally got in the kitchen. <laughs> and <laughs> and she, cooked up some candles. Cooked up the candles. And she came up with it. She took them back to work and again, sold out and... Back then, the business was Candlemania. Okay. That I'm, I'm sorry, Carol's Candlemania. Okay. Was the business back then, and so that's how she got started. That's amazing. That's an amazing story to see where you know it all started and where it all began. You know, with determination, determination <laughs> and you can't tell me nothing. Okay, yes. because you have to have that type of mindset whenever you want to go forward and accomplish something. You yes. know, so that's an amazing thing. Kudos to you, Mama, and for passing it down <laughs> to your daughter. Okay, because it's something that has to be done this has to be around for a very long time I, you know it has to this cannot go away this has to <laughs> just grow and be bigger and just morph into something amazing yeah, you know totally <laughs> yeah. so um Without giving away your secrets, mm -hmm. can you tell me a little bit about the process of making these candles or uh, just yeah. a little bit, not everything, well, just a tad? Well, there's no way to give you everything. Okay. Each candle is different. The process mm -hmm. to make each candle is really different. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on what candle we're making. For example, something like this, Cabernet mm -hmm. Wine, yes. is one of the most simple candles to make. It's one of our simplest candles to make because there's only about three different steps. Okay. But when you move on to the... We're not even going to talk about Sunday. those. Y'all have to buy these, okay? We're not even going to talk about a process of that. We just want to oh know the simple, basic process and how long does it take to make the simple candle? Well, that's another process because when we make the Cabernet wine candles, we don't just make one or two. We make a couple dozen yeah. at a time. Yeah. So we, it's a lot of math mm -hmm. involved and mm -hmm. my mom's not here, so I'm not going to break it down. We're not giving no secrets out, okay? It's a lot of math mm -hmm. involved in, you know, how many dozen candles do we need mm -hmm. to how many pounds of gel that okay. we need mm -hmm. to how many ounces of scent mm -hmm. must we put in the candle mm -hmm. so that it's safe to burn. So it's a it's basically a labor it's of science. love yeah. and science. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So I, I really love the concept. I love the candles. I love everything about it. Thank you. Um, Thank you. One more time before... Um, because people need to know. Tell them where they can find the candles again. You can find us on Instagram at La Vela Loca 2018. That is La underscore Vela underscore Loca 2018. And 
All, all the contact information is there. You can call, you can text. My name is Stephanie to 713-385-8385 and place your candle orders with me directly. And I know that I've seen you on location at, you know, certain places yes. doing your thing, vending. Yes. And we do a lot of pop-up shops throughout the year. Uh, we go to local malls and local uh, craft shows mm -hmm. and vendor shows. So we're all over Houston. Yeah. Do you guys have any coming up um, anytime soon that you know off the top of your head? Nothing that I know off the top of my head, mm -hmm. but we are always looking to uh, get into the next pop-up. We're always looking to be in the, the very next pop-up. So something will be coming up soon. And when it does, that information will be posted on our Instagram as well. Make sure you guys follow La Vela Loca 2018 on Instagram because you definitely yes. want to be able to get these products because they yes. are a uh, amazing absolutely amazing they smell good they're pretty you can tell that a lot of hard work went into each one of these candles so you definitely want to take advantage and get um, a piece of art because that's what it is. it is it's definitely a piece of yes, art you know so yes, and each is. one is so creative and just so detailed like this is this a strawberry shake or orange cream sickle Ooh, shake orange cream sickle shake this is my favorite kind of shake yeah. in the world I promise it is yeah mine too <laughs> and look if you see it you know it has the cherry with the, the stem of the cherry is the wick okay the wicker yeah, right the wick. and mm -hmm. so um, it has the whipped cream and it also has these beautiful little sprinkles on it you know yes. so it really looks so real i swear if you were to just walk up to this cup you would just be like oh wait why is it why is it not moving yeah, yeah. you oh, know yeah. yes i want it i want it in my mouth right now and but that candle the size of that glass there's about 20 ounces of gel which means that candle in particular is one of our longest burning and oh that wow 200 hours 200 hours Damn, 200 hours that's a long yeah. time yes, that's a long time even if you burn that candle like straight that's like a exactly. long time. <laughs> you, you're not, to, and I don't recommend anyone do this. Now, you're not supposed to go to sleep with the candles burning. I don't recommend that anyone do that. But me personally, I will light one of the candles at five o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I will light one of the candles at ten o'clock at night mm -hmm. and actually get ready for bed. And that's like my little night light, mm -hmm. little nighttime ambiance. I'll light it at ten o'clock at at night and I'll wake up and put the candle out at about 5 a.m. Oh, that's so, so, yeah. And I can just imagine, um, say this one. Yes. This is so cute for kids, for your kids' bathroom. Baby shower. The baby shower. For the bathroom. Yes. It's for a laundry room. Anywhere you can walk into a small space and have the scent, it is definitely perfect for. I mean, who could be mad of a little ducky in a tub? You know, it's so cute. Yeah. I love it. Baby showers, well, guys. As the bubbles start to melt, it looks like suds are running down. It looks very real. So let me ask you this, because I can kind of tell the, the scents that these are going to give, give off. But what scent does the duck Yay. in a tub? gain laundry scents. So that's why it would be perfect for like a bathroom, a child's room, or laundry room. Did you just say this gives off a gain laundry scent? That is gain. I love the smell of gain. That is my favorite, favorite yes. detergent. And this is amazing. I need to have this in my bathroom because if I could just have my bathroom smelling like, you know, my laundry yes. with gain, yes. then yes. Absolutely. Gain, you need to, you need to contact La Villa Loca because she's giving you some, some publicity and <laughs> you guys need to jump on board because yes. you won't find this anywhere else, you okay? Not. I mean, who else has a root beer candle that actually smells like root beer? Like, and... Ooh! Ooh! Yeah. <laughs> I had to smell it twice. It really smells like root beer. It smells yes. like the suds and all. I'm and telling you. The ice cream and the foam on top. And that one will also burn for 120 hours. That's amazing. That's so amazing. In the so traditional amazing. root beer float glass. Mm-hmm. 
That's amazing. I feel like I just went to A and W. <laughs> I, I swear I do. Now tell tell me what is this? Oh my goodness. Okay, so that is red Kool Aid. I can tell. Yeah, oh my god. And it has <sighs> wax ice cubes around, and the gel is you know censored over the wax ice cubes, so everything melts straight down evenly as if you're drinking from the glass. Oh my god, that is so amazing! This is Kool Aid, y'all. Yes, that one also glows in the dark as well. We have several different candles in our line. We have about five that actually glow in the dark. Wow, you know what? You know what I feel about that? I feel like I'm just gonna have to. <laughs> sip some tea on y'all with right. that because yeah. <laughs> I literally have a tea candle in my hand. <laughs> that, well, that was actually coffee. Coffee, we do, we coffee. Do make tea. Okay, that one is hazelnut coffee, and Ooh. even the cookies that garnish the side of the plate are also scented. Mm. So if you were to put this on the warmer, the cookies yes. would melt too and yes. you would get that scent as well? Yes. yes. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's that's awesome. I just love these candles and I just can't wait to experience <laughs> more and more and more flavors and to see the new creations that you come up with. Do you have any other ideas for other oh candles? Gosh. So we make over 200 different designs and styles of candles. Uh-huh. During each holiday, we'll come out with something new. Like um, for Halloween, we have candy corn scented candles Ooh. and pumpkin lattes and pumpkin spice scented candles. During Christmas, we'll have a lot of uh, different style glasses. Okay. And we, yeah, we do a lot of different things for the Let me ask you too. something. On Thanksgiving, I know you got to have a sweet potato pie we do i yes, need one i need one i need one in my life we okay. also have banana pudding as well what? Yes, we do that is amazing yeah that's awesome so again tell everybody where they can find your candles la underscore vela underscore loca 2018 on instagram all right. Make sure you guys check her out and get some of these amazing, amazing, amazing candles. So um, which one haven't we talked about? We haven't talked about this key lime pie up oh here in the front. Goodness. I need to that, make sure they see this. Yeah, the key lime pie is one of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite. I... The smell, when I say it, it's literally like a key lime pie. It that really is. It smells so good. Mm. I, and again, when you burn it, first you smell the lime, which is mm -hmm. the lime wedge on top. Then you start to smell the whipped cream. And then you go into smelling the actual key lime pie. Wow. And if you place that one on a warmer, you can smell the scented berries that are that garnish the side of the plate. Oh, wow. That's amazing. These are just so awesome and so creative and something that I've never seen before. So I'm so excited that, you know, I ran into you guys and was able I to get my it. own La Bella Loca candle, which yeah. I love, you know. <laughs> so um, what about the, you told me a little bit about the process. I know it's a lot of science and mm -hmm. and work and math and, <laughs> and all of that that mama passed down to you. So tell me, where, where do you see the future of, of La Vela Loca candles? Well, we hope to have a store in the future mm -hmm. and to go. We're uh, solely online right now. And as I said, we do a few pop-up shops and here and there, but mm -hmm. we are hoping to have a permanent location and to have a couple stores I can definitely see a candle boutique in the Galleria area somewhere or in um Cyprus somewhere yeah so, yeah definitely guys we need to get her to this goal so you guys need to go to La Vela Loca 2018 on Instagram right now and support her with these amazing amazing pieces of art so um I would like to thank you guys for tuning in to Action One Media's Action Table. This is Jay Nicole, and you've been listening and seeing these beautiful candles and listening to the amazing Stephanie Poliard, who is the creator, along with Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama. Hey. <laughs> so, guys, go ahead, Stephanie. Tell them one more time. Instagram, what is it? 
Instagram, La Vela Loca 2018, La underscore Vela underscore Loca 2018 on Instagram. And you can place your orders directly from Instagram or contact me directly, 713-385-8385. And again, this is the one and only Action Table brought to you by Action One Media. I'm Jay Nicole. You can tune in at weareA1.com slash TV. And if you would like to have your very own Action Table, you can do so as well by visiting us at our website at weareA1.com. It's your girl, Jay Nicole. Peace out. And everybody get in the action. Thank you. Thank you all for just inviting me out and giving me the opportunity to speak about Twist. I really appreciate you and I love that you all are uh, doing positive exposure of people in the community um, versus what whatever else you can be doing. Right, right, right. <laughs> I appreciate you shedding a positive light in the world. Sure. So. Yeah.